Try me. She sings. She's got a lovely voice. The Boston Bruins held a charity event here in Watertown at the local Target. They picked out toys for this Christmas, and it was an exciting event. During the Bruins' annual holiday toy shopping event, picking out the toys, at least for Bruins captain Zidane Chara, was a challenge. You can never go wrong with Hot Wheels. Target employees kept the wheels turning. Hot Wheels, that is. Along with Chara, Patrice Bergeron, Tuka Rask, and almost the whole Bruins team attended. And happiness has no price tag. They're all the same price. All the toys will be delivered to 600 children in hospitals around Boston in what is a picture-perfect day. Ryan Chevalier, WHDH. The Spires family has sacrificed for our country, and now they will rest in peace as family. Bobby Spires of the U.S. Army, shown here in the black hat, was killed in Vietnam eight months after his brother Ricky Spires lost his leg as a Marine in Vietnam. Ricky's longtime friend and veteran Fred Shine explains how hard it was. He basically died on that hill in Vietnam. It was tough for him. He's my closest friend. Ricky moved to Florida in September when he was diagnosed with cancer with two months to live. His last request was to be buried beside his brother up here in Tewksbury, but he knew he didn't have the money and his family couldn't afford it. So his friend set up a fundraiser and Ricky passed away the day after Christmas. But now... Two veterans will be reunited for this holiday season and it's all thanks to the local community and high schoolers who raised over $12,000. With help from students from Tewksbury, Wilmington High, the local Elks Club, and local residents, a marine stream to be laid to rest next to his brother is coming true. My brother's coming home. I promised him. I get him home. And he's coming home. Ryan Chevalier, WHDH. A Burger King becomes a drug ring after a manager employee are arrested on drug charges. According to police, customers would come to the window asking for a nasty boy and extra crispy fries, receiving marijuana in a large cup with their meal. Some residents are outraged. Don't bring it into a business where kids, there's a playground here. It's, uh, it's terrible. It's disgusting. The whole thing is disgusting. Others thought, why not? I mean, if they can pull it off, might as well, right? Well, they didn't pull it off. As today, 20-year-old Garrett Norris and shift manager Megan Dearbum were arrested. One Burger King employee who came out didn't have much to say. Comments for anybody? We visited Norris's house where there was no answer, although we did speak to his neighbor. And I hope, you know, I hope he, uh... You know, he, just a phase he's going through. Both the man and the woman will be arraigned on February 28th. Ryan Chevalier, WHDH.